Hi, it's Mr. Wassman. Today we're once again going to look at multiplication with fractions. We're on pages 238 and 239 in our math journals, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, the title of this page is The Walking Club, and that is the uh, number story that is the basis of, of all the problems uh, found on these two pages. The Hillside Elementary School Walking Club meets every Monday after school. The table below shows how far some students walked at their last meeting. So the top row tells us the student's name and the bottom row tells us the uh, fraction or the amount of miles they walked. In number one it says Katie walks the same distance at every meeting. Find out how far will she walk after two meetings. Okay, the first step here is we need to draw a picture. So probably the easiest thing for us to do is to create a couple of rectangles that we decide to split up. So I'm going to make one rectangle. There's one. And then I'm going to make a second rectangle right there. Let's see if we can line those up a little better. There we go. Now we need to look at the fraction. Katie walked two-thirds of a mile at the last meeting, and then she walks basically the same distance every meeting. Okay, so we can assume that she walks two-thirds of a mile each time she participates. So I'm going to divide uh, these rectangles roughly into thirds. Now, of course, I'm hand-drawing them, so they're not going to be exact, but close enough for rock and roll. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in two-thirds of each of these rectangles. So I did blue lines, so let's do green. Make it pop. Okay, so one fraction shows us two-thirds, and the second fraction shows us two-thirds. So step B asks us to write a multiplication equation. So if I have two amounts and each of them show us two-thirds, my multiplication equation is going to look like this. 2 times 2 thirds. We'll give it an unknown W for walking. So what is our answer? Well, as I can see in the picture, I can count. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces shaded, and each of these pieces represent a third, so that gives us four thirds. Now if I look at the equation, I can just multiply the number of times Katie walked, which is two times, against the amount of a mile she walked, which was two thirds of a mile. And that shows us that she walked four thirds of a mile. Four represents the numerator, or the number of shaded pieces that we see in our picture. And the three, the denominator, represents how many parts of a mile uh, the mile was cut up into. So three parts, two-thirds. There's two groups of two-thirds. That gives us four-thirds. Between what two whole numbers does your answer lie? Now this is the fun part right here because four-thirds is what we call an improper fraction. 4 is bigger than 3, and if I define something into 3 thirds, okay, there are 3 parts that represent a whole. So if I were to take this amount right here, okay, and if I were to draw that again, but this time, if I create rectangles, divide, there we go, and then I divide them into thirds, this time, I organize all the thirds that I have into one whole, like so. One, two, three, and then I put that fourth third in the second rectangle. That shows us that we have not four thirds, but one whole right up here. And then we have a third right there, so one and one third. Okay, so between what two whole numbers does our answer lie? Well, that would be between one and two, because one and a third is more than one, but less than two. So that's how we would go ahead and solve the distance amount for Katie.
Now let's look at a different problem. Okay, I'm actually going to skip over to number three. Maria walks the same distance at every meeting. Find out how far she will walk after seven meetings. So I know I'm going to multiply my amount of walking times seven. That's one of my factors. Just need to look at my table over here. And I see that Maria walks four-thirds of a mile every time she goes out for a walk. So I'm going to set up my equation just like I did for the first one. Four-thirds. I'll put M for Maria. So I need to look at the whole number that represents the number of times she's walked, seven times. And I'm going to multiply it by the number of thirds she walks every time she walks, which is four-thirds. So I'm going to multiply seven times four. And of course, you and I know that seven times four is going to give us twenty-eight thirds. Because twenty-eight represents seven times four, and thirds is the amount of uh, parts that each mile was cut up into. Now twenty-eight thirds is quite the improper fraction. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to figure out about how many whole miles is that. So I need to use my knowledge of division. Okay, because to, in order to figure out where in between the numbers lie, I have to first ask myself how many groups of three can I get out of 28? Well, three times 10 is 30, so I know it's not 10, so it's got to be a single digit answer. Now if I think about my multiplication tables, I know that 9 times 3 gives me 27. And 27 is just one smaller than 28, because 28 minus 27 gives me 1. So my answer for 28 divided into groups of 3 would give me 9 groups with 1 left over. Now, when we have a remainder, one way to represent it is just like I did up here, which is to put a remainder 1, or R1. Another way we could represent a remainder is fractionally. And then what I do is I take the number right here, that was my remainder, and I put it on top of my divisor, and that creates a fraction. So I could represent this as 9 with a remainder of 1, or I could uh, represent this amount as 9 and one-thirds, nine and one-thirds miles. So for number th three C, between what two whole numbers does your answer lie? Well, it's bigger than nine, but smaller than 10. And that, my friends, is how we do multiplication with fractions. If you have any questions, feel free to email your teacher or to send them a, a, a message through Canvas. Otherwise, have a good day, and we'll talk again tomorrow.